I lead a very public life. Like I post a lot on social media. I always have since I was younger, since social media was introduced to the world. I'm very comfortable with being consumed or whatever. Like I don't care if people know details about me or about my life. But one thing that always surprises me is how much the fear of public speaking can like really just creep up on you. Like I'm a person who for most of my life has done public speaking. Like I've always been a kind of leader in front of the room type of guy. Like I typically don't shy away from leadership opportunities. I've given speeches on national television. I've introduced former presidents, uh, presidential candidates on the campaign trail in front of crowds of thousands of people. And all of those things, you think like over time, like you would just be numb to the idea of like speaking in front of a crowd. And I sometimes think like, oh, TikTok will really train me to just like not really care about public speaking because people are like consuming my thoughts and my image all the time. And so I can become more comfortable with the idea of being seen and known. But I always, every single time before I'm about to host something feel this gnawing sense of anxiety and afterwards I'm always like oh my gosh I wish I wasn't so anxious about it everything went great as it always does and I it's hard for me sometimes to remind myself that I know what I'm doing and I think that like the the thing that I want to remind you in this video is that you know what you're doing You've been training for where you are. You know exactly how to handle the situation you're in. And anxiety is, it's like uncertainty, but that is not true. Like, you know exactly what to do. Like, I'm about to host this interview show with my business partner, and I'm really excited about it. I love the guest. It's going to be a great time. And we've been doing this interview show for, you know, a few months. It's been going really well. I've done many times, I've done things like this. I host podcasts. I've done all sorts of things where I'm interviewing people that are of influence. I've, you know, done lots of stuff with TV, with film. And you think that I would be like not nervous at all but for some reason I have this like gnawing sensation that's like what if I'm not enough what if I mess up what if I say something stupid what if like my internet connection goes out you know I just like start like catastrophizing and thinking of all of the things that could go wrong and I think that what I want to tell you is something that I'm working on in my personal life um, one which is being transparent about what I'm thinking about and not allowing you know myself to kind of suffer in silence when I have anxiety but also to flip things on its head like when you're nervous maybe it's because you're excited when you are sh when you're thinking of all the things that could go wrong what if you thought of all the things that could go right what if instead of thinking oh I might do this and it might embarrass me what if you think oh I might this might go incredible this might lead to other opportunities. This might be just another win and a long line of wins. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what if we just flipped it on its script and really rested in like the mindset of abundance instead of resting in this mindset of scarcity? Because when you operate from this like anxious scarcity mindset, you're almost going to like will that into existence. Whereas if you operate from abundance, it's just you, you operate under the kind of precondition of ease and you, you operate from the poise and strength. Do you know what I mean?